Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem nineteen in chapter twenty three. Chapter twenty three is about electric potentials. So we look at this system. We have the non-conducting spherical object. Keyword non-conducting. It tells us this total charge Q distributed uniformly through its volumes. So that means the charge distributed right everywhere for this spherical object. And also the radius R not is given, so we need to find the electric potentials at different locations. And we take the V equal to zero when the R equal to infinity. So how can we do that? We can see. Normally we can use this function to get the potential difference. As this one tells us at the infinity, we write it as zero infinity. The potential is zero, right? So we can consider a as the infinity. So then v a is zero, and so this one we can find as a b, right? So first the case r is larger than r naught. If we want to use this function, it looks like we must find the electric field dense at this location. As we can see, this this spherical object carries a positive charge, so the e is pointing outward, agree, radically outward. And DL is still outward, so that means the E dot DL is a positive, right? Now next step, we need to find the E. So how can we do that? We can draw a Gaussian surface. If we draw a Gaussian surface, we can use the Gaussian's rules, right? So we can say E times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed the charge divided by epsilon naught. Enclosed the charge in this case is Q. So we can write the function for E at there. Now you can say we look at this uh, function and then at the location A, we talk about this is infinity, right? So A is uh, infinity, so there. And then this A is uh, infinity, so we write it as there. And the E we just talk about is the Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. dr is just a DL, uh, DL is just a DR. Now it looks like we need to do this integral, get the final answer at zero. And as we talk about at the infinity, this term becomes zero. So finally, we've got the potential, electric potential at the first case is just equal to this function, right? The second function, we can say we need to find r is smaller than r naught, so zero. So it looks like we, if we want to use this function, right? We still want to use the function. The A is a V, the electric field dense outside and inside is different. Do you agree? Because it's different. So it looks like we can select the reference point for A as the R naught, right? So in this case, A can be R naught. So in the, now if we want to find the electric field dense at zero, we just uh, do the integral for this one, right? So it looks like we must find electric field dense inside. So how can we do that? We can draw a Gaussian surface. In this case, enclosed charge, you can see, enclosed charge is use the density times its volumes enclosed right so we can see look like this one and then we get this enclosed charge equal to this term and this one tell us the electric field dense times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught and then you can see we can input the enclosed charge inside we get a function look like this one uh -huh. So the electric field look like this one. Now you can see it comes to there. We see A as R naught, A as R naught, and then the E times the DR, right? Because the E is a pointing outward as we talk about, and the DR is also outward. So in this case, E dot DR is a positive. So we can write it as this way. And then if we just uh, do the integral, we get answer look like this one. And then the V R naught. So at the R naught, what is V? So this one from the previous part. From part A, we get, can get the potentials at the R naught equal to this term. So input it. 
we get answer at zero. The next one asks you to plot V versus R and E versus R. So we can write down what we have, right? So this is a VR and this is a ER at the R larger than R naught, VR and E at the R smaller than R naught. See, you can see if you write this function, it looks a little bit complicated, but we can simplify it. If we introduce the term E naught and V naught inside, we know E naught and V naught are two constant. In this case, you can replace some terms as V naught, some terms as E naught, right? And then draw function as v over v v r not e over e not e r not and then look like this one. Thank you.